All right, so today we are going to put a roll pan and a hidden hitch on my 97C1500. I have the roll pan right here. It showed up in pretty good shape. I'm gonna scuff, a, I'm gonna sand a few spots and, and scuff it up. And we're gonna paint it and clear it. And probably all we're gonna get done today. Uh, but the video will show the whole process. So uh, let's get to it. shaky. First things first, a little gray scuff pad. Give it a good surface for the paint to stick to. Gotta make sure that you get all the edges good. No bubbles, how about that dippa dippa dip dippa dip 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 over trash can volume, uh, I don't know, at least two or three. I've done this a few times. I kind of miss painting, uh, doing car paint stuff. I worked at a body shop for a few years. Started off as kind of apprentice and by the end of it, they were letting me uh, do some paint work and it was super fun, but uh, I like working on doing mechanical stuff better. So that's where I ended up. So scuffed. Um, now we're gonna clean it off, cover this trash can so we don't get trash blown up into the paint. Um, and then uh, see what we got. Okay, so here's what I used to, to do the prep. Touch up, repair, prep, wipe. Uh, it came from Amazon with a couple cans of uh, Here's what I'm using as the base. Now, technically this isn't really base. This has a, a hardener in it, which gives it a little shine, but that's not gonna be good enough for, uh, for what I want. So I'm gonna do a 2K spray can clear over it, which will give it a regular kind of automotive shine, in theory. Like I said, done this a couple times. Um, most of the time it works out pretty good. So, just gonna let that prep wipe dry and then uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, let's uh, see what happens. So, when you order paint, spray paint on the internets they like to tape a shot so no duple color is not the the greatest stuff in the world but when you see that nozzle on there that's a good sign you can turn it and give it a different spray pattern uh, not bad not great not bad
grandstands. Dang bros in a dang show. Wonder where they'd even be without the Marlboro man. Or Sean White, that's a vinyl plug. Dollar Green, come ride with us. Them dang bros at dang show. Pop the clutch and light them up. I do it for the dang bro. I do it, I do it. I do it for the dang bro. I do it, I do it. I'ma do my thing, oh. Okay, this is what we got after a couple coats. You gotta make sure that you get the, your edges real good, especially red over black. Uh, red's a little, little clear, a little transparent. But overall, not too bad. A couple coats, I think I got like a, another, full can and a little bit left in this can so let's uh give that a little time to dry up and then hit it again all right let me show you what i got that's two cans of base yep looks a little splotchy that's fine the coverage is pretty good and now we we'll go for the 2k clear glamour um, and so 2K, it means it's two parts. And so it has a hardener. Oh, this isn't your standard like Lowe's um, clear. This has a hardener in it. You shake it up for a little bit, jam this thing in the bottom and it ruptures a hardener in there and it, it gives it that automotive shine. It's not just that, uh, like, I don't know. What else would you spray with? Lowe's clear, like outdoor furniture. I don't know, but let's uh, shake this up. Better read the, I did read this first warning here. Professional use only. Shake it up for a little bit. Then we'll push this bad boy in the bottom. Get one of these. And now, shake it up some more. Okay, that's probably two minutes. As you can see, safety first. Wearing my painting mask here. As you can see, there's some, some trash in it, and it's from the ceiling. But it's a roll pan, and I can, I'll probably wet sand and buff it. Get it slicked out. But so far, so good. Color looks good. So here's what we got. Final. Use the can of clear on it. 
obviously there's some some junk in it but it's shiny we can uh do a little wet sanding once it's dry on those some dirt spots but when you're the one of the secrets not really a secret key to painting basically outside is to put a lot of clear on it <laughs> bury it in clear i believe is the the term and that's so not all at once you want you want lots of um normal coats of clear but the more clear you have on there the more um you can wet sand on it and not go through to the base so yeah that's that um next time we'll be putting it on um put this this hidden hitch on this, there's going to be a hitch right here in the middle license plate's going to cover it uh, when i'm towing something i'll be able to fold the license plate down and uh hook my camper up to it or motorcycle or whatever and uh it'll save me from what you'll see in the next video i had this big long tall seven inch riser thing um that was terrible and uh this will take care of that and it'll give it that uh roll pan flavor anyway catch you next time uh we'll put the hitch on and maybe go tow something see ya